Nigerians, let's wake up. Let's wake up. Like somebody said, if we miss this opportunity, then we'll be waiting for 2031. Hmm. My God. If we miss this opportunity, we'll be waiting for 2031 to make another change. Because whosoever gets there will want to spend eight years there. <laughs> Who is your most preferred presidential candidate? I want to ask again, who is the person? Who is that messenger? And what is the message that the messenger has to offer? Hello oh guys, how are you doing? It's another beautiful morning. I tell you, it's just uh, some minutes after 8. It's not yet 9 a.m. But you can see the sun is so scorching, as in the sun is really, really hot honestly it's just that i've decided to be vlogging around uh to make most of my vlogs on the street if not i tell you this sun is so scary as in for one to come for one to expose his or her body to this sun it's just morning this is the kind of weather we have here you know we hardly have this kind of sunshine but once it starts the hotness starts as early as maybe 6 a.m in the morning you start feeling the heat immediately so it's just uh, uh, yet to be 9 a.m but you can see i don't know if you can sense the heat of this sun on me it's really really so hot it's really really hot so guys i want to ask you again who is your preferred presidential candidate for the forthcoming election who is your preferred presidential candidate who would you want to vote for who is the person and why are you convinced that he is the best that nigerians will want to work with come 2023 who is your most preferred presidential candidate i want to ask again who is the person who is that messenger and what is the message that the messenger has to offer what is the message i still want to like speak to my fellow nigerians it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter if you are in nigeria or you are in the diaspora like i've always said in my videos you've got a role to play in this forthcoming presidential election you've got a role to play a serious role that we all have got to play get your people if you are not in nigeria organize your people back home organize them Tell them the essence of getting their PVCs ready. Let them go for it. No matter the process, encourage them to get it. You can also help them financially in case if they need some, like, taxi money or, you know, all those stuff. You just have to ensure that everybody that is up to the age of 18 gets this voter's card ready. Nigerians, let's wake up. Let's wake up. Like somebody said, if we miss this opportunity, then... We'll be waiting for 2031. Hmm. My God. If we miss this opportunity, we'll be waiting for 2031 to make another change. Because whosoever gets there will want to spend eight years there. You know? So this is a very good opportunity that God has given us so that we can change things. We've got the power. Let's make Nigeria great again. So guys... I want to know who is your most preferred candidate who is your most preferred candidate and what's your reason for backing he or she what's your reason you just want to vote for voting sake or you've been influenced is there any convincing factor that is making you to opt for whosoever you assume is the best please let me know all i want to tell nigerians is we can change things we can make things better we can make nigeria work again we can make nigeria a great place for people to live we can make nigeria to become another paradise nigeria can become another paradise we can we can we can no matter where you are in the diaspora in nigeria wherever you are please play your role play your role play your role play your role don't leave it for those back home if you're in the diaspora don't say it doesn't concern me. After all, I've got nobody back home. Know how you have somebody back home. Know how. You have somebody back home. You've got your relatives, your parents, your siblings, 
all of them are back home. If Nigeria works today, it's working, it's going to work for each and every one of us. No matter where you are in the world, Nigeria is going to work for each and every one of us. So let's play our roles well. Let's do the right thing. I'm begging you, wherever you are, please do the much you can to make sure we elect the right person. Some people said, if you are not in PDP, if you are not in APC, you can't win the election. Please, how, how long are we going to live with these lies? How long are we going to live with these fat lies that people are telling us? This is what they've always told us. And this is what they keep telling us, that you can't. You can't win election without being in these two parties. These are the two parties that have held Nigeria hostage all this while. You know, they've held us hostage. Can you imagine? Tinubu said he's the one that made Buhari president. So he brought, it's like giving somebody that is very hungry a rotten egg. It's like giving somebody, somebody is dying of hunger and you go to get an apple that is rotten inside to give the person. Are you trying to save the person or to even help the person die quicker? So these are some of the things that we have to bear in mind that this system is just working for a particular set of people. And I'm just wondering, Nigerian youth, why are you people not standing up to the task? Nigerian youth, why are you not standing up to the task? Why are you not uh, very effective when it comes to politics? At least now that elections are almost there, have you gotten your PVC card? Have you spoken to one person, two persons, about the essence of voting? You see, please, let's not be deceived. Power belongs to the people. But when the people are blind and lack of understanding, they remain slaves. They remain in bondage. We can prove to these people that enough is enough. Please, fellow Nigerians, I want to urge you to stand up. Stand up. Let's make Nigeria a better place to be. Let's make Nigeria work again. Let's go out and vote in the right person. Can you imagine that Tinubu and Buhari had an agreement to allow Buhari serve for eight years, after which Tinubu will come to take over. This was the agreement. And because things are not working as planned, you can see what is already happening. Can you imagine? These people just agreed, let me rule, even if I have no clue about leadership. Let me just be there for eight years, after which you will come to take over. And today the agreement is not working out the way they proposed or the way they thought. And you see what is happening. And I, I wonder what Nigerian youths are doing. Look at armed robbery. Look at kidnapping. Look at so many fraud. When you get to, to the airport, they want to like squeeze you as in, they will ask for money, they will just keep disgracing Nigerians. You know, so many things are going wrong. I'm just wondering why we are not learning. Why are we not learning? Why are we not taking our stance as youths of the country? Why are we not taking our stance? So Tinubu made Buhari president so that after his eight years, he will come to take over. And today, Buari doesn't want to hand over to Tinubu. And you see, it's already causing catastrophe in the political space. Nigerian youths, stand up. Nigerian youths, stand up. These people that have no clue, they can't help Nigeria move forward. Honestly, they've got no clue. Somebody like Tinubu would have been a good candidate. But you know, age is no more on his side. Honestly, if I'm to choose, I'm outside age. Tinubu is... Let me say he's somebody that, uh, yeah, I would have said, yeah, he, he can really rule. Well, you know, that was how we sensed Buhari in 2015. We were like, Buhari would be a better option instead of Jonathan. We preferred Buhari. But what later happened? When Buhari came, he got no clue. And to worsen everything, Buhari didn't know how to choose the right team to help him solve Nigerian problem. Who is your most preferred presidential candidate? I want to ask again, who is the person? Who is that messenger? And what is the message that the messenger has to offer? So guys, I will stop here and catch you in my next episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And with this, I want to say thank you for watching. Bye.